look at some of those numbers. Third in the AL, hitting 302. He's got 14 home runs. He's tied for fifth with 43 RBI. And look at OPS, 829, second in the AL. What has Gregorius shown you, not just in this recent stretch, but also this entire season, the way he has really elevated the way he's performed? He's a solid two-way player. Not only does he give the Yankees the offense we're talking about, this guy is a solid defensive player. And I'm watching his swings lately, and I see a guy who was so quick to the ball. We've talked a lot about Clint Frazier's bat speed. Well, Didi Gregorius has that same kind of bat speed, and he's got more power than people realize. He's got four homers in his last 10 games. And Sarah, I think he's underrated. I think when people start talking about the best shortstops in baseball, it takes them too long to get to this guy's name. Didi Gregorius is a star. Best shortstops in baseball, and of course, familiar with the best, or could be the best, Derek Jeter. Um, how did Didi seamlessly re really take over that position from Jeter and fill the gaps that were needed in this Yankees lineup? It's kind of interesting that as great as Derek was, and he'll walk into the Hall of Fame in his first year, that we don't hear his name mentioned a lot in terms of people saying, wow, I wish we still had Jeter. Of course, the Yankee fans love Derek Jeter, but D.D. is a guy who never let that impact him. I've even heard him uh, correct people who said, you're replacing Derek Jeter. He said, no, I succeeded Derek Jeter. And I give Yankee scouts, Brian Cashman and his staff, a ton of credit. They're able to pluck this guy away from the Diamondbacks. They were smart enough to see the talent level that they saw. He wasn't hitting left-handed pitching at that point. Now he hits lefties. Again, just a very solid player, a guy the Yankees can rely on.